Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing? <laughs> yeah, it is Saturday and I don't know if you saw any of my YouTube shots yesterday. Ronnie came home and didn't look great. So I took him to the emergency vets last night. Um, they're saying that it looks like he's been hit by a car. No, no movement in his tail. Back end isn't great. So today, I just took him back to PDSA because they, they sent me on when we were having pain relief. Um, sent me on, so I've gone back with him today. Um, that's Bella. She's come on eat. So she won't be getting you. Plus, I don't have the funds now to even do that. It's just cost me 250 quid to get... I've had to leave him there. So he's going to have to be put to sleep. Not put to sleep, but, you know, knocked out so he can get x-rays. And what's that word? Anesthetic? Sorry. And if it's okay, then they'll be able to do... If, hopefully it's bruising. And then if that's the case, then they'll... They'll get neutered today for ten pounds, which is great. If not, Loki. If not, if it's not great, he's going to put put to sleep. But yeah, I'll catch up with you a bit because I'm, I'm starting to go again. So I've just had, just had the phone call from PDSA in regards to Ronnie. Um, thankfully, he. He's not getting put down yet, that's what I'm saying. So he's fractured part of his pelvis, but he needs his tail amputated. But I can't afford that bit yet because I wasn't expecting the 250 today. Um, but they get this said that it's not, you know, I'll give him two weeks bed rest if he, if he improves, good, but if he don't, then yeah. So whilst they've got him under anaesthetic, they're neutering him and microchipping him. Um, so yeah, that's for tw £20, that's not bad for neutering and, oh, I can't think straight. I feel, so, I've been crying all day and people, if you've been following me for a while, you'll understand that I am a cat lover and, uh, you know, all my life I've, had, I've been around cats, but I'm glad that he gets to come home. But I feel for him because he can't, he, he needs to be bed rest, so now, yeah. <sighs> what do these animals do to you to make you? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I always get emotional when it comes to my animals. Um, but I'm glad that he's okay, I'm just hoping he comes around from the anaesthetic. <sighs> After the truck cut off his nuggets. So yeah, that's good news. In a way, I'm just hoping he recovers, and then in the fortnight, if his tail, it's got to be amputated. But I've got to keep an eye on his bowels as well because he's they've had to clean him out because there were a lot of poop there. So I'll update you in a little while. Hey guys, so I don't know where I left off with my video earlier, but PDSA rang me. I think I might have told you. Um, but I'm just waiting for them to ring back to see if he's okay to come home. He's got a long recovery, hopefully. Um, he needs his tail amputated, but I've said to him I can't do that. They offered to do it there and then, but 200 quid I just don't have because the funds I've... <laughs> this week has been horrible. I mean, first sorry, his brother, with abscess, that's that 150. That wasn't my normal vet. I had to register Ronnie at, at, at PDSA thinking, and I forgot I registered Millie there. So you you get this, I don't think he pays much for the first pet, but full price for the second one. And that's what's done me over a day, £240, about 250 240 quid for sedation, uh, anaesthetic and an x-ray. Um, he's got fractures around his pelvis, I can't, I can't, I don't know, I'm here, it's all over still. I'm just, I'm glad he's okay. He's not out of the woods yet, but in about a fortnight, I'm going to have to take him back and get his tail removed. Um, and I don't think I'm going to, he's, he's got neutered whilst he was there, microchipped, I didn't realise they did it. 
for Tyler. So, uh, now, yeah, I don't know that I just take over my other cat footwear and uh, cancel what I've got, but I've already booked it. Do you think I'm all right to cancel it? How many animals are you allowed on the um, PDSA? Anyway, so it's good news that he's, he's okay. He's not out. He's, she rang me when he was under. I think it was just to see, do, would you like to remove the tail? If I had the funds, I would have done. Um, someone suggested a GoFundMe page, but I'm, that's not me. I, I don't want to be that person that uh, asks for stuff, you know what I mean? Um, so this next two, three week, we're on the bread line, kids. <laughs> <laughs> so the money that I had put aside was just basically for me to get through the next two weeks. Obviously, my cat comes first at the minute. I honestly thought he was going to not make it, if you know what I mean. So I've got one of the cat cages still up, which Soot is in, but he'll get removed when Ronnie comes home. I've got the massive, medium, not massive, it's a medium-sized dog bed that I use for when Bella had a kitten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and attach it to the cage so I can have the cat train and it's got somewhere comfy. So it's two weeks bed rest. Hello, Bella. Um, yeah, so I've never cried so much. I know. People are going to say, it's just a cat. That cat is my life. It's my... You know what? When I took him up, took him first, and then there was a... they went out to get the consent forms um, he's never been so loving in all his life. He just laid there, let me stroke him, he was purring, and his eyes are big. And I thought that, please don't say, let me go, type of thing. Um, but I cried all the way home, and I think I went through a red light, and I'm not too sure because someone packed the road, so I just assumed at the traffic inside of me, the lights went green, so I just, I, I hope I am. I'm not too sure. I was like too busy crying. Uh, and I'll tell you not to drive when you're crying. But I stopped and I started. Then I started thinking about Ronnie again and his big eyes. And oh my God, what a stressful few days. First thing is his brother, Sutty, had an abscess on his face. And then when Ronnie came home, I just thought it were, he's just tired. And he's just walking really slowly and he's been having a fun time with girls or something. But obviously I was wrong and I felt bad. So yesterday I took him to the emergency vets. Um, they gave me some pain relief to get him over the night and they told me to advise me to come up to PDSA at 9 o'clock this morning. So that's what I've done. Luckily he's had a pee but the, I'm not sure if his bowels, so it all depends on his bowels as well. So that's that's concerning as well. Anyway guys, I'm going to go and to check out my YouTube shorts because you'll see a lot of Ronnie on there and up my other furry babies. And please like and share, comment below, subscribe, press that notification bell. It helps with the health of ribbon, the them, sorry, and it helps push my videos out through YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm going to go now because all my emotions have been drained and it's affecting my pain levels. So thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button and that notification bell. And comment, let me know what you're up to today. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.